guys, it's Christy here with card number four in my 2013 Christmas card series. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Christmas card even when you don't have a lot of Christmas stamps. I'm going to be using the stamp set from the Alleyway Stamps. And what you want to look for when you're trying to choose stamps that you want to be able to use all year round is versatility. So here is this set, Lighter Than Air, which is obviously not a Christmas set. It's got this adorable little robot and a hot air balloon and some great sentiments and bolts and things and images. But here are a couple of things that you can use all year round. These two birds would make a great Christmas scene. All you would have to do is stamp like a snowbank and maybe a tree branch and color them red like cardinals and put them on there. Those would be awesome for Christmas. Um, and also this light bulb, which is what I'm going to be using today. This is another awesome um, image that you can use all year round because you can color it like a light bulb and you can also color it like Christmas lights. So I'm going to take out my stamps and I'm actually also going to be using this sentiment, We Burn Bright Together, but I'm going to be doing some selective stamping to get the sentiment that I want. I'll take out both of these. I'm going to set the light bulb aside for right now. Then I'm going to take a post-it note and I'm just going to tear that in half because we don't need all that. I want to make sure I get the sticky side and I'm going to very carefully mask off the wee and the together. Okay, then I'm going to ink that up in some VersaFine Onyx Blacks because I want a really good dark impression. Okay, and I know it looks like a mess now, but just hold on. We're going to take off our masks. We can toss those out. And then we'll put that about where we want it and stamp that out. Now I'm just going to take a little sheet of scrap paper. This is actually some pattern paper, so it's not really scrap because I'll still use it on this side. But I'm going to stamp on the back side where it's never going to show. And now I'm going to take some memento ink because I want to be coloring these in with my Spectrum Noir markers. I'll put one right there. And there we go. As you can see, um, some ink got onto one of those little foam feet that happens sometimes, and I got some ink on the card front, which normally is a super big bummer, but we're going to figure out a way to cover that up. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we'll, we'll cover that up. All is not lost. Mistakes happen. So um, I'll just put this on there so you can see, and I'm going to speed up the video now while I do my coloring and uh, I'll meet you back at the other side of that, okay?
Okay, now that we have that done, I'm going to go ahead and round the corners on this panel. Just using my corner chomper there. And then we can assemble the card. Got my ATG gun. I'm using um, some pattern papers from the American Crafts Peppermint Express, which I just showed in a recent haul video. And I'll just adhere that down. Okay. I'll adhere this black polka dot piece down as well. And then I've got two strips of this red glitter paper from American Crafts. I'm just going to take my Tombo Mono Multi and I'm going to put a thin strip on either side. And I'll adhere those down. Okay, then I'll just take my scissors and trim off the excess there. Now I am going to take my Wink of Stella glitter pen, this is what that looks like, and I'm just going to brush on some glitter. And I don't know how well that picks up on camera, but it's got a really nice shimmer to it. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, now we still have to fix this little mistake here. So I found some red and black polka dot ribbon, which kind of ties in with this black polka dot pattern paper that we used and the red strips. So I'm going to take some tacky tape here. And I'm just going to put a piece of it right there. And I'll extend that to the back. And then I'm going to put a piece right underneath it as well because that ribbon is wide. And I'll just peel that paper up. And I'm going to stick the ribbon down and I'm going to loop it kind of to give it like some added texture and dimension. Just something fun. And then we'll just bring it behind the bag. And I'm going to add a little snowflake to that. Just going to use a glue dot. Adhere that over top and then we'll take a little green gem and I'll just place that right over top and then the last step is just to take some foam adhesive and we're gonna pop this up on dimensionals and we'll just pop that up in the center of the card and I'm going to take my corner chomper again and I'm just going to round those corners with the half inch setting to match the focal panel. Okay, and that's our card for today. I hope that inspired you guys to take a second look at your everyday stamps and use them in your holiday cards. And also hope that inspired you to not throw away a card just because you make a mistake. You can salvage it and um, have a great card in the end. So thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye